Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, on this video, I will share you about the commonly asked question during master and official evaluation by Aramco for uh, subject use of a radar. Uh, the question will be around the knowledge of the radar function and utilities as well the limitation of the radar and our understanding how to correctly interpret the radar picture with a particular reference to early warning and collision avoidance. Uh, the commonly subject that will ask by the evaluator about the radar are uh, the X pin and S pin rather what's the differences through and relative motion north up and head up parallel index and radar plotting CPA and TCPA and then the performance monitor or PM test of the radar. Okay, well, let's go to the sample of the question and the answer. What are the key difference between x band and s band radar? The x band radar, the wavelength is 3 cm and the frequency is 9 gigahertz. And because of the smaller wavelength is 3 cm produced by the x band radar, they use the small antennas. A shorter wavelength are greater attenuation, so uh, they are used for short range distant observation. And x band radar are more sensitive, higher resolution, and able to detect a smaller particle object. x band radar are not good for heavy weather and long distance observation. Um, x band radar can detect the radar transporter and shark because it works on 9 GHz frequency. For uh, S-band radar, the wavelength is 10 cm and the frequency is uh, 3 GHz. Because of bigger wavelength uh, produced by the S-band radar, uh, they use big antennas and bigger wavelength are less attenuation, so they are used for long or far range distance observation. The S pen radar penetration capability allow them to see through heavy weather, so it's good for heavy weather observation. The S pen radar is to be fit as a second radar, which is required uh, on the ship's cross tone 3000 or more as per the SOLAS regulation. Well, let's go to the other sample question and the answer. Could you please explain about the radar head up and north up mode? And the north up mode uh, will show the north being maintained up on the center of the radar screen, same as on the chart. Um, the target are, will be shown in their true compass direction from uh, on ship. And the north up mode is better to be used while navigating at open sea because it shows me the real location of its target and the land, same as the chart uh, my course drawn on it and I will not get confused when I'm taking bearing of each target. For head-up mode, uh, the head-up mode uh, shows the heading line being maintained up on the center of the radar screen, same as uh, a real forward view from the bridge. This is useful for navigating while approaching the port because all target and lands in front of uh, the vessel are at the top of the screen and objects on the starboard side are displayed on the right of the screen and also object on the port side will be displayed on the left side of the screen. Okay, next sample question. Which other mode you will select in the oil field? Is it north up mode or ship's head up mode? Not up mode is better because it show me the relocation of its target and land same as the chart with my course drawn on it and I will not get confused when taking bearing of each target. Okay, what is relative motion and true motion mode on radar? On relative motion, on ship is fixed at the center of the display radar and the surrounding target moves. On true motion, on ship and other target moves at their true speed and course and all fixed targets such as land will appear stationary. In other words, a true motion we can say uh, our ship's position and other moving target will move along the radar screen while stationary objects such as land will not move. 
Okay, what are the CPA and TCPA? CPA is closest point of approach and TCPA is the time of closest point of approach. What is minimum CPA for the passing safe navigation? Please refer to the master standing order or night order for the answer of this equation and make sure it is written on that book as well. Normally, minimum CPA at open water is 1 nautical mile and on confined water is half nautical mile. I call the master if you're not able to keep the safe distance as mentioned on the master standing order or a night order. Okay, which rudder mode, true motion or relative motion, is better for collision avoidance? And please explain your reason. For collision avoidance, it's better to use relative motion rather than true motion. Because on true motion, on ship and other targets move at their true speed and course. It can make confusing between moving and stationary target. The other reason, the relative motion helps to find target on a collision course. Our vessel position at the relative motion will be appear to be stationary at the center of the radar screen while the target move past it. The logic is obvious. If a contact appears to be moving straight toward the center of the screen, it means there is a risk of collision. And if relative motion is selected, it is also possible to read the CPA of the target by using EBL and the VRM. And that the reason if the target appear will cross the heading marker, the target will pass ahead of us and we will pass uh, astern of it. Okay, um, the evaluator may be asked you the question like this. This is a practical equation. Could you please let me know how to take the bearing and distance using radar? Well, we have to practice and familiar with it. Practice yourself to take the bearing and distance from the target using EBL marker and VRM marker on your radar. Another instruction might be like this. Please switch on the radar and acquire a target using ARPA and read the information given for the target. Well, switch on your radar as per instruction on the evaluator and we have to able to read the following data. The distance of the target and the bearing of the target, the CPA, the TCPA, the speed of the target, and then a change radar mode from north up to head up, etc. Okay, an example question and the answer. Are you familiar with the parallel index technique? To answer this question, we need to practice and familiar with the parallel index function on radar we have on board. How to adjust the line orientation and how to adjust the distance between the lines. The parallel index is a technique to monitor the progress of the vessel on the track and to minimize the cross track distance as limited availability of the room and keep the vessel at safe distance from the shoreline or other navigational hazard. To adjust the parallel index, the orientation of the line can be set using the EBL marker and distance between the lines can be adjusted by the VRM marker. The parallel index effectively used during coastal passage such like uh, TSS, narrow channel, canals, and river because it can monitor vessel track and traffic from the same radar monitor. A parallel index answer the ship's position remain at the fixed distance from any shoreline to alert mariner that he has come close to navigational hazard and it's valuable tool to just the drift in confined water. Okay, let's go to the next sample question. What action to be taken in case a radar suddenly shut down and close quarter situation occur? The first action I will stop the engine or reduce speed for safe maneuvering speed. If in depth, I will stop and keep the vessel in position. I will inform the master and then I will take the bearing and distance from the target using manual bearing. The risk of collision shall be deemed to exist if the compass bearing of an approaching vessel does not appreciably change. Um, 
take action to avoid collision with altering course until you get the safe distance from the target. Avoid altering course to port for a vessel forward of the beam other than vessel being overtaken and avoid altering course toward a vessel a beam or above the beam. Do not hesitate to stop the engine or reduce speed to thinking about the best action to be taken on such situation. Well, um, sometimes the examiner will ask you to do the performance test of the radar. So uh, please be familiar how to do this on your radar. Uh, the instruction how to do the PM test on each radar uh, you can find on the radar operating manual book that you have on board. Well, the radar plotting. Uh, Sometimes the examiner will ask you to explain or practically do this work. Why? Uh, because when your APRA is not working, radar plotting is an alternative way to get all the information such as uh, CPA, TCPA, target, course, bearing, etc. If you're not familiar with this uh, radar plotting work, I suggest you to visit uh, another fellow Shiver uh, YouTube channel that uh, explain about tutorial how to do radar plotting work. I put some of them on the video description. Well, that's all about the frequently asked question about use of radar. Uh, thank you for watching and see you on next video.